see, miss? You get back at once! Punishment in the morning! Yes, miss.
Now then, what has us got here? Hmm? <laughs> oh. I'm hungry. Oh, please don't. Huh? Please don't eat me. <laughs> I spot what you is thinking. Because I is a giant, you reckon I is going to gobble you up and crunch your bones? No. Please. <laughs> you is reading in books where giants is eating up little girls for supper and snacks. Yes. Don't they? Oh, yes. That is what giants is doing. All the giants in giant country go cannibally and murderful. They is guzzling up human beings every night. Human beings? Yeah, human beings. Like you is. <laughs> Bone crunching giant, he likes turkey best. Oh, turkey. That's not a human being. It's a bird. No, no. The bone cruncher's not eating birds. He's creeping off to Turkey every night to eat Turks. For the special flavor. What flavor? Turkey? Huh? <laughs> no. Turks from Turkey is tasting of Turkish delight. <laughs> what does you think human beans from Brazil taste of then? Hmm? Um. Uh, coffee? Wrong. They taste of Brazil nuts. W what about Sweden? Hmm? Oh, that's easy. Swedes. <laughs> Swedes! No. Turnips? Ah, you was wrong again. Swedes from Sweden is all tasting Sweden sour. <laughs> Panama. Sorry? Panama, Panama, Panama. Come on. I don't know. Uh, canals. Canals. Your head is emptier than a bung dong. <laughs> Hats. See, human beings from Panama is tasting strongly of hats. All right, then. What sort of flavor am I going to be when you eat me? What? Me? Gobbling up human beings? <gasps> oh, all the others, yes, but not me. Oh, I is a nice giant. Oh, I is a freaky giant. There's not another giant like me in all a giant country. I is the big, friendly giant. The BFG. Uh, that's me. <laughs> Does you have a name? Yes. Uh, my my name's Sophie. Sophie. Hmm. Well now, is you liking some supper, Sophie? You're, you're really not going to eat me. Mm, of course, I'm not eating you. <laughs> I eat snozcumber. <laughs> Did you want some? What does it taste like? <laughs> it tastes disgusterous. It's way well, away. Well, it's it's rotsome. Well, it's sickable. Yeah. <laughs> it, it tastes of slime. Wagglers and cockroaches. <laughs> oh, try a bit. I, 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 I don't think I will, thank you. What else is there? Else? <laughs> else? <laughs> Did you think I would guzzle this repulsion snodgumber if there was else? Huh? Well, I suppose you wouldn't. <laughs> if giants does not eat human beings, they has to eat snodgumber. Tis all that grows round here. Oh, do I have to? Well, yes. Unless you want to be nothing but skin and groans. You mean skin and bones? What I means and what I says is two different things. Mm. 
I give you just a snippy bit. Go on. Oh, it's like frog skins and rotten fish. Mm, it's falsum and maggot boys, isn't it? <laughs> oh, couldn't you get some other food? You could pick carrots and cauliflowers just round our village. And apples. What? Never. I is a very honourable giant. I does not go snitching things. You snitched me. Mm. Yes. And now I, I can't help thinking about your poor mother and father. I don't have a mother and a father. Oh. They died when I was a baby. You, you is a orphan then? Yes. Where you took me from, that was the orphanage. Oh, orphanages is nice and jubbly places, eh? All except ours. Hmm? Doesn't you have happy times there? I hate it. If you do the slightest thing wrong, Mrs. Clonkers gives you punishments. How punishments? Well, if you don't fold your clothes properly or something, she, she locks you in the cellar. Rotten old rot, Rasper. She leaves us in the dark, and there are great big rats down there. Uh -huh. You get really frightened. Ooh. 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 That is the hardest thing I've seen in years. <laughs> you poor little scrumplet. Please don't cry. BFG. I can't help it. You're making me so sad. It's all right. I'm not there anymore, am I? No, but you is here. And those other giants will swallow you up if they catch one tiny glimp of you. And it's all my fault, because I keep snatching you. Why did you? Because if I has not wiggled you away, you is yodeling around everybody. How's you seen a giant? And, and then they come hunting me and capturing me and putting me in a zoo. That's true. So, you will just have to be staying here with me. What? Forever? Who, who will look after me? What? Well, me, a BFG. I is going to be your mother, your father, and your auntie, and your ankle. <laughs> you can help me with the dreams. But how can you help someone with a dream? Hey, can you keep a whopsy big secret? Hmm? My job is to go scuttling out every night when people is fast asleep. <laughs> What's you got in here? Uh, nothing. He's not got anything. You been talking in here? I try uh, talking. No, no. Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes. I, I was talking to myself. You, you know me. Uh, 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 Smell human being. Gimme! Come on! Gimme! No, there's no human being here. What would I want with a human being? <laughs> Eat him! Crunch his bones up! Yeah! You know I is not eating human beings, blood bottlers? I has my snozcumber. It is scrumdiddly dum. Uh, 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 Why are you not trying some? Uh, uh, what's it? 
potato. It's like peachy fruits and pineapples. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> uh, and bones. <laughs> yes, it tastes like bones, Snozgumba does. Oh, tastes like bones, eh? Bones is good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> No, stop! It's my phone! Yeah. I'm my best all the time, but there is no schools in giant country to teach me. Well, I love the way you talk. Does you? Does you really? Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> I was blowing a dream into the children's bedroom. Blowing a dream? Yeah, it is my job. When all the other giants is galloping off to gobble up human beings, I is taking dreams around in my old suitcase. <laughs> nice dreams for little children. I can't take dreams in a suitcase. Dreams are in your head. I knew you was never understanding. I is not telling you anymore. Oh, please. <coughs> I is not saying anything more to you until you is dressed. Oh. You just made that for me. No, there's nothing very much. You can try it on if you want. I've never had a new dress before. I've always wanted one. And a nice place to live, like yours. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> a 
It's time you is having 50 winks. I'm not tired. <laughs> Can I have a drink of water, please? Well, there is no water for drinking. There's only frog scuffle. Oh, I suppose it's slimy and sickable like the snoz cumber. Ah, that is where you is wrong. Frog scuttle is sweet and peachy. It is warming the muscles of your heart. Cockles. Ah, here is frog scuttle. Is you ever seeing such delumptious fizz? <laughs> the wrong way. The bubbles are going down instead of up. Of course, bubbles is not going up. <laughs> they do where I come from. Bubbles going up is a flush bunking disaster. Why? <laughs> if bubbles is fizzing upwards, they will be coming out in a fountain belty burp. Yes. That, that's all right, isn't it? Oh, right! It's catastrophous! <gasps> Scientists never do it. But, but if bubbles are going down, well, they might... They, they might come out some, somewhere else. Yes, you is exactly right. Well, that would make a much worse noise, wouldn't it? A whiz-popper! What? A whiz-popper! <laughs> it's a sign of happiness! It is gullifying music! Not very rude. Mm, you human beings is making whiz poppers. Mm, you? Well, yes, but of course you is. Everybody is. When you get a bottle of fabulous rock scuttle bubbles and giggles, it's part of the plan. It's yummy and clubby and jiggles your tummy and soon you's off with a whiz poppy bang. As certain as eggs is his eggs, a couple of cakes is a frog scuttle makes you feel grand. But chuckling and gurgling, it seems to absurdly why people don't whiz pop all over the land. Now, taste it. Mm. It's only the beginning. <laughs> Here comes. Oh, who is Papa? I hope you're not going to be rude. It starts with a sip of the tingly tipple that tickles your tongue and a stop. And awake for the moment of truth as your tongue is the roof of the fizzly bit make you vocally hide and from suddenly deep down inside you're inside. Oh, oh, I can feel the bubbles trickling down in my tummy. I think I'm going to... <laughs> whiz pop, whiz bang, feel the bubbles go down.
time. Time to get up. Time for work. Where are we going? To dream country. We's off to collect some dreams. <laughs> Important work to do. Oi, come Lumbeater. I'm just walking around. I let you go this time. He was in a nasty, crotching mood. <laughs> nasty mood? I thought he was going to kill you! No, no. Giants does not kill other giants. They is not like human beings. What do you mean? No, ah, it's only human beings that shoots and bombs and kills each other. No other animals is doing it. Cats kill mice. <laughs> they does not kill other cats, does they? Huh? Is Dream Country inside this mountain? <laughs> you wait and see. I have something very extra usual to be showing you. Oh. Whatever is it? It is. The dream way. The stairway into dream country. I is never letting anybody see it before. Never to come here. Of course you is. Not even other giants is ever coming here. Really? Shh. There is dreams all round here. Where? There. Listen. I can't hear him. Shh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I know there's nothing in there. It's a wink, Squibble. No, no, no. Oh, you better. It's a, a fizz with him. A golden fizz with him. I suppose they're very rare. Oh, they is the rarest of all. Oh, yeah. There may be swarms up there today. Up <gasps> we go. There is something in there. Of course, there is. <laughs> Quickly, I've got another one. <laughs> <laughs> it away, and then no little toddlers will be having scary nightmares. Oh, let's get it home. Where are we going? <laughs> we cannot be leaving all the tiny toddlers without their dreams. We just have to pack up our suitcase. Some trouble, Humper. Now we has to go and knock him away with all the other nasty grub switches. Scaring any little 
work, Hitlers. I is writing my labels, so I is knowing what is in the bottle. Can you really tell what the thing is just by listening to it? All I can hear is a sort of tinkling. Ooh, you has very good ears. That is dream music, mm, sort of language. What does it mean? Oh. Oh, it's just a dream about a little boy who is becoming invisible. Great! Can we take it with us? Well, I have to give it an ending first. How do you mean? <sighs> you human beings does not know much, does he? Eh? Mm. Dreams is not like stories. Dreams is more like, mm, like pictures in books. If I was wanting to make a story, I, I have to mix up lots of dreams together. Oh. Ah, here is an ending. I is not liking algebra, so I is frightening Mr. Grummet, my algebra teacher, till he runs away. <laughs> Good. A boy would like that ending. <laughs> of course he would. It's a wink squibbler. Soon we is finding somebody to give it to. I just get a tingly feeling when I peach into the bedroom and then I is knowing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
He's never stopping him. He would just punch me down and kick me. You're a coward! Yes. There's no way he's running away to save you. I don't want to be saved. I want to save the other children before any more disappear. There's going to be lots more disappearing tonight. Oh, he's hearing them talking, and they is finding themselves a, a whole school with little girls in it. Oh, no. Yeah, and another one with little boys in it. He's going there tonight. Where? It's where I snitched you from. It's England. Oh, Beatty, we've got to stop them. Oh, there's not anything we can do. There must be. We'll, 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 get, we'll get somebody to help us. <laughs> And, and who's going to be helping us? Huh? Well, if we go back and tell somebody, they'll come and, uh, and put them in prison. Yes, and they put me in a zoo. They put you back in your orphanage. Human beings are not famous for kindness, is they? Huh? These all drink sludges. No, they is not. I mean, are not. Not all of them. No. Well, who then? Well, there's... There's the Queen of England. You can't call her a drink sludger. Well... Mm. And you can't call her a squeak pip or a squiffle rotter either. Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll go to the Queen. <laughs> She's never believing you in a month of Mondays. We'll make her believe us! Ow. I don't know. It's like you said in Dream Country. You was never doing anything unless you try. Dream Country. BFG, wait. Listen. Can you make a, a person dream absolutely anything? Ever anything in the world? Mm, of course I can. If the dream is in my collection. Well... Would you have any dreams about me and you and um, about giants eating children? Just like you told me. I hope this idea of yours is going to be working. I hope so, too. We is lost. No, we're not. We must be nearly there. Well, I is hearing ducks quackling down below. We's in the countryside. No, it must be St. James's Park. Fly down. Sleeping, Sophie. I don't know. We'll have to search. Uh, no. No. <laughs> There's only some doggies in there. <laughs> this one is a lady. Take a look, see.
to wait. Is, is you sure you will be all right? Yes. Bye. Your Majesty. Oh, oh. oh, it is a nice day outside, Mom. Is it? Oh, Mary, I've had the most awful nightmare. I dreamed that great ghastly giants were snatching little boys and girls out of their beds at school and eating them. Mary, what on earth's the matter? It's your dream, Mom. It's in the papers. In the papers? Oh, good heavens. Tragic horror as children slain, bones found beneath dormitory windows. Oh, how absolutely frightful. <laughs> oh! How did you get in there? I... I simply don't believe it. I don't know what this place is coming to. Really, I don't. Now, come on downstairs. Oh, you'll be for it, you will. No, Mary, wait a moment. Now, tell me truthfully. Is there a little girl on the windowsill? Yes, ma'am, there is, ma'am, as plain as the nose on my face. Yes, but you see, I dreamed there would be a little girl sitting there. Oh! <laughs> well, well, there is, ma'am, isn't there? I mean, look. Little girl, come here, please. You are real, aren't you? Yes, Your Majesty. And is your name Sophie? Yes, Your Majesty. You were the girl in my dream. How did you get in? She wasn't there last night, Mum. I'll swear to it. I think you dreamed that, Your Majesty. Yes. Yes, I did. I dreamed that a very tall giant put you there. And that he's waiting outside now in the garden. That's right. He is. Oh, oh Lord, preserve us. You needn't be frightened. He's my friend. He's lovely. I'm quite sure he is. But why have you and your friend come to see me? Didn't you dream that as well, Your Majesty? Yes. Now you come to mention it, I did. You were going to help us capture those terrible monsters. The ones who ate the children. <laughs> I don't think I'm feeling very well. You did dream it! But how did you know what I was dreaming? The BFG can explain that, if you let me call him. BFG? It stands for Big Friendly Giant. He's... In the garden, I know. Very well, Sophie. You may call him. BFG. 
Jane, you can come out now. Giants in the garden. I never heard anything so ridiculous in all my board. Oh. Oh. Here he is. This is the BFG. Your Majesty, I is your humbug servant. We are very pleased to meet you. Oh, Queen, oh, Magister, oh, Golden Sovereign, oh, Sultana. I is coming here with my little friend Sophie to save you from awful peril. He means peril. He does speak a bit funny sometimes. I think you speak English perfectly. Oh, Magister. Oh, Wonder Crumb. I is all of us. I has great secrets to tell your Magister. I should be delighted to hear them. Would you care to join us for breakfast? Oh, will it be stinky snozcumbers, Magister? I beg your pardon? No, it won't. It'll be something nice, like eggs and bacon. Mary, call Mr. Tibbs about breakfast, would you? Mary? Mary? Oh, dear. <laughs> it's getting better every time, this eggs and baking. Thank you, sir. The chef will be delighted to know that. Oh, Tibbs, while Mr. BFG is finishing breakfast, would you summon the head of the army and the head of the air force? Say it's an emergency. Very good, ma'am. Doesn't you have any frog scuttle here for whiz popping? No. Shh. Well, I can be whiz popping without if I want to. Well, you mustn't. Well, no whiz popping. No jollifying music. Oh, do let him sing if he wants to. He doesn't want to sing. I enjoy music at breakfast. In Scotland, they play the bagpipes outside my window. Oh, <laughs> whiz popping is better than bagpipes, Magister. Oh, I'm sure it is. Please play something. No, you're not to. I cannot be disobeying a Magister the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> On the whole, I prefer the bagpipes. I suppose it's about these barely children. What children? The ones who disappeared last night. Oh, them. Load of nonsense. You know what children are? They make it all up. Yes. They did find bones, though, and giant footprints. Bones? Rabbit. Giant footprints? Probably not. They make it all up, I tell you. Yes, sir. You're always causing barely trouble. Barely children. Good morning, Your Majesty. Good morning, Your Majesty. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for coming so quickly. Tibbs said it was an emergency, Your Majesty. Yes. You have heard the dreadful news of the disappearing children. Oh, yes. Absolute load of pot <clears throat> What? Oh, oh, absolutely shocking, Your Majesty. Terrible. Well, sure, there's a perfectly simple explanation. There is. They were eaten by giants. Don't think we should jump to that conclusion, ma'am. You don't? Oh, well, <laughs> giants, Your Majesty. I mean, uh, we know that they don't, uh, well... Yes? Um, exist, do they, uh, anymore? What? You see, Your Majesty, let's take this business of the footprints. Our intelligence says they were six feet long. Yes. Well, that means that if they were real footprints, whatever made them would have had to be... Well, let me see, uh, how high? That high? Yes, at least that... But, 
Uh, don't, don't worry, Your Majesty. We'll protect you. It's all right, little girl. Now, don't be frightened. Gentlemen, may I introduce Sophie? How, how do you do? How do you do? And this is our friend, Mr. B.F.G. Go, 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 good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Oh, come on. I'm a Jimmy Bogswinkles. What was that? It was Louis the Fifteenth. All right, men. At your easels. Now, I should like you to listen very carefully to what he has to say. Good heavens. What an appalling story. How many of these boots are there? Um, well, there's Manhugger, the Meat Dripper, the Child Chewer, Butcher Boy. Um, the Blood Bottler. Yes, yes, the Blood Bottler. Maid Masher, the Flesh Lump Eater, ooh, and Bone Cruncher, and the Gizzard Gulper. Uh, uh, that, that, that is, um... Nine. Yes, nine. God, as many as this, eh? Strategy is quite simple, Your Majesty. Tanks. Tanks? Nonsense. Bombs. Bombs? Ridiculous. Tanks. And heavy artillery. Artillery? Piffle. Next thing you'll be wanting belly cavalry, too. Tanks, artillery, and cavalry. That'll do it. Modern warfare bomb demands modern technology. Low-level assault bombers to get under their radar. High explosive bombs. Heat-seeking rockets and pow! We'll blow them to pieces. It's an old-fashioned enemy, ma'am. We need good old-fashioned tactics. Suck them up with bombardment. Roll in the tanks and pick them off with machine guns. Taka 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 taka. Well, ma'am, down. Pow! Kaboom! Bomb! Taka 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 taka. Kapop! Tanks! Kaboom! Kapop! Gentlemen. Uh, yes, yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. There will be no bombs and no guns. But pardon, ma'am? The giants are not to be hurt. Not hurt, ma'am. But they eat children. They're their murderers. That is no reason to follow their example. Exactly. Two rights is not making a left. But that twice as big as he is. How can we capture them without guns? And without bombs. I know a way. Without guns, ma'am. We'd be sending our men to the... What? I know how you can capture them. Well, of course it can be done. Can't it? Hmm? Oh, yes, yes. Of course it can. How? Well, the giants go out at night, you see. So, in the daytime, they're fast asleep. And if...
Nothing to be scared of. Human beings is not green sludgers. He's very brave. Come on, come on. I's getting something for her majesty. Good work, lad. All done, sir. Couple of lads injured. Nothing serious. Well done, Sergeant. You can get your helicopters in now. Oh, well, we won't be needing the last one, sir. There was only eight of them. Funny. He said there were nine. You know he can't talk English. He probably can't count either. Ha <laughs> ha!
quick, hide! BFG, come back! There is only me to stop him now. I does not want to be a coward. You're not a coward! I'm sorry. Oh, please come back! Yes, yes, I showed them the way. Why? What for? Because you is evil, and I see it now. You, you is not giant. You is like human being. Human being. Yes, I'd rather be like one of them than like you. Yeah. Oh. Then I kill you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Catching it now. But what was it a dream about? It's about Jack. Jack? Uh -huh. Jack is the only thing giants is frightened of. He's a famous and terrible giant killer. <laughs> he doesn't have a beanstalk, does he? Oh, yes. Yeah, you know about him, too. Oh, I was very scared of meeting him one day. <laughs> well, you mean me. Huh? <laughs> 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 oh, you can be laughing so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> medal for gallantry. For Sophie, who has nowhere to live now that we have closed Mrs. Clonker's orphanage, we are making a new home here in our palace. She and her friends from the orphanage can live here with us for as long as they wish. We shall consider what to do with Mrs. Clonkers later. Oh, Mrs. Clonkers can be feeding the giant, your majesty. Oh, I don't think we want them eating any more people. Hmm? <laughs> Not people, majesty. Stinky snozcumbers. <laughs> that is all those giants is having to eat now. And Mrs. Clonkers can be their keeper. <clears throat> and finally, to our friend the BFG, we are giving our tallest and most splendid royal castle so that he can live there for the rest of his life. <laughs> oh, noble magister, I thanks you from the bottom of my... Uh, of my heart. My heart. It is a very great honor you is doing me. But I must be tootling off now. You're not going. You're not going. Oh, I has my work to do, you see, Magister. I has my dreams to blow. I cannot be stopping. I quite understand. One always has responsibilities. Exactly. Goodbye, Magister. Goodbye, and thank you. Goodbye, human beings. You has a nice place to live now. Like you is always wanting. Yes. No more snozcumbers, eh? <laughs> no. No more giants, hmm? No. No more giants. Oh, BFG, I'm going to miss you so much. Oh, I is always missing you, too. <laughs> Take care of her, Magister. Oh. 
I'm sure he'll be back to see us sometimes. But I didn't want to see him sometimes. I wanted to be with him always. Does you, Sophie? Yes, of course I do. Is you sure? Yes. I is not having any, any palace for you. I know. Well, let's be going home then. We had dreams waiting for us. Item from suddenly deep down inside your Ha <laughs> 